Well, I mean, you guys didn't come here not to learn anything, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> that works too. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to start by drawing out the bees and then we're going to draw out the honeycomb because we need the bees. Like if, the bees are basically going to um, dictate where our honeycomb is going. Does that make sense? Okay, perfect. Okay. Ugh. So we're starting with the bees. Yes. Did you say something? I, I... <laughs> yeah, we're doing sons of bee, a son of a bee. <laughs> well done. Good pun. <laughs> I approve. If you need to use swearing terminology, this is the terminology to use. <laughs> The we're doing the honeybee first, and then we're doing the comb after the honeycomb. Does that make sense? Not wetting it. This is um we are not we're gonna do wet on wet, but like in small portions. So the fact that there's a lot of white around, we don't need a tape, right? Because like the our painting is not gonna be super super wet. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do is, and I, again, I'm pressing really, really hard. Please, when you guys are doing it, if you, um, you guys can like press really lightly. If you do press hard, then we'll have a moment where we can like pick up all of our paints. Um, are you guys working with HB? Okay, what are you working with? Okay, that's fine too. Yeah. Um, so long as it has an H in it. So H means hard. So the harder the brush, the less dark it is. When you start getting into the Bs, the graphite is much softer. So it, it gets a lot darker and it looks more like, no, no. When you start getting into the Bs, it gets softer. And then um, your pencils end up uh, looking more like charcoal. Does that make sense? So Hs are like hard. So they give those sharp, soft, crisp lines. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decide where I want my bees. Um, and I'm gonna put my first one like right about here. Yep, we're working um, portrait, portrait mode today. I'm just doing a circle just to like give myself where I want it to go. Actually, I'm lowering it because I'm I'm trying to decide where these honeycombs are so I instantly made a mistake. <laughs> Welcome to being an artist. So actually, I'm going to lower it. Because um, I have to try, I'm thinking of where the honeycomb is. And I want it, I want the honeycomb to be about um, half an inch away from the edge. Um, and then here, so I'm going to put it actually like right here. And then my next one, I'm actually going to put these a little bit closer than they are in my original, um, my original painting. Because the nice thing about redoing your paintings is you get to make choices and you get to like fix your mistakes that you made and experiment. I love, I love redoing my old paintings because it allows me to experiment. Okay. I am also taping down my paintings so that I don't move it around. For you guys, always. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are like, look at the size of my eraser. Like, I have a full eraser. Well, that's a circle. I'm working with, like, spheres kind of thing. Okay, so if you take your paintbrush, it's about the length of, like, if you take your small paintbrush, it's about the length from like the tip of your brush to the metal part. Okay, there, now this won't move. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. Yeah, it's hard to judge uh, sizing. 
Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start to actually do these bees. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is let's do the butt. Um, so it comes to a little point right here. So I put like a little point on it, like a little, like the, the bottom of the circle is wearing a little hat. And then the front, I'm going to do like a little tiny, um, almost like a note, like an olive. Well, it kind of looks like an olive now because it has like a small circle there. That's going to be the head. So let's do that same thing over here. Yep, like a small circle to make it look kind of like an olive. So small circle in the bigger circle. And then we're gonna add the little birthday hat to the butt. Does that make sense? Is everyone following along? So right now we have three shapes in each one. We have the big circle, the little circle inside the big circle, and then like a little triangle birthday hat at the very end of our big circle. A little bit, yeah. So then we're gonna do the like shoulders of the bee. I don't know terminology, like the thorax, maybe. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to do another bigger circle oval attached to the first one. So we're starting to do like a snowman kind of look. And for those of you who are very competent with their drawing skills, just go for it, man. I'm talking to you, Nat. <laughs> <laughs> okay so now we have four shapes we have the small head and then like the big shoulders area this is where the wings are going to connect into and then we have a little birthday hat at the bottom I'm changing how many stripes there are because <laughs> I'm so full of honeybee facts because I was a beekeeper for like three years. So like I have all the honeybee facts. Um, okay, so the, la um, the last thing we're going to do before we get to the wings is we have to draw the shape of the behind where all the honey... Uh, where the yellow and the black stripes go, right? So I'm going to go in to this edge right here kind of thing, just making two little marks. And then I am connecting these two lines right here with like kind of a, like a, um, like a light bulb shape. Yep. So right there and it looks weird now but that's because it doesn't yep feel free to so same thing comes out here goes in These, yeah, we can erase these lines that we don't need. I, I just wanted to get a general shape and size. I don't know if you guys watch um, or go to like a lot of art galleries or whatnot and see like the concept or the, uh, the process of artists. But if you look at their sketches, it's very, very, very messy. Drawing is very, very messy. Um, and there's a lot of erasing going on. 
I'm hoping that not next semester, but in the spring, I can offer my drawing classes again because it will give you an idea of, and it'll help you with this. No, there's painting uh, Wednesdays, 1.30 to 3.30. There's no drawing for the winter. Correct. It's painting, it's not drawing. We're doing painting. So in the winter, painting Wednesdays, 1.30 to 3.30, okay? Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday, 1.30 to 3.30. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. Emily mentioned it to me. I'm so... Yeah, unfortunately, I'm very limited because I'm going back to school. So like my schedule has, yeah. I wish I were open again, but honestly, I, ha I had to change careers. I couldn't, I couldn't do what I, I was doing for the rest of my life. Um, I'm taking an undergrad in art education with a master's an art therapy so five years that i'm in year one of five concordia yeah okay so does everyone have like their b body amazing let's add some wings to this um okay so i'm making a, a small little mark of where the middle of the back is the the wings are going to come out of that area so the first way let's how am I going to do these? How am I going to explain these wings to you? Um, okay. So does everyone know how to do a teardrop? Yeah, yeah. That's It's uh, like, uh, it, okay, so, yep. Okay, so I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a circle at the very end. And this is where, this is where the tip of that wing is. Does that make sense? It will make sense, I promise. So then we're going to uh, bring here and, I don't know, here. I'm trying to figure it out as well. Okay. So then if I erase everything, I have a nice little wing shape, except it needs to be way bigger. Because if you look at, look how much butt is right here and look how much like, this comes into about here. So actually I need to make it re like much bigger. So it needs to come about out to here. There we go. Cause bees have like wingspans about the length of their body. And don't quote, like don't spread that around cause I'm just guessing. <laughs> Okay, so if I do then erase it, um, actually we are gonna be able, we're gonna need to keep this line because the wings are transparent so you can see a little bit of the body underneath it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Does that make sense? Okay, so again, I'm gonna go, I'm like, I'm just drawing a line straight across just to know where the other wing goes to. It's a guideline. I'm creating a guideline. And then I'm going to come out here. Um, on our wings do, yes. Yes, I'm sorry. It... I had to figure out how to explain that properly. Okay. I'm sorry guys, I did a kind of a messy job explaining that. So um, let me try again on the next one. Okay, so I'm moving to the top one. You guys can do it on this one. It doesn't really matter. Um, I had to figure out how to like explain it to you guys. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a guideline straight across. That's okay. That's The honeycombs will probably be your main um, focal point then. 
So I drew a guideline right here. This is going to tell me where my wings need to meet. Okay, so I drew a guideline. This is where the edge of my wings are gonna be. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay, cool. So then I'm gonna go in probably like right here. So just to the other side of that mark we made. You can if you want to. Yeah, yeah, Feel if you guys wanna turn your papers throughout this process, please do. Because I'm on video, I taped mine down so I don't do that so that you guys can follow properly. Does that make sense? But yeah, if you guys have the desire to rotate your paper, please do. When I'm doing my own artwork, I am constantly rotating my paper around. It never sits still. <laughs> Just like me. Um, okay, so then I'm going to draw a U shape. I'm going to draw you right to the to the side. Okay, if you already did your wings, congratulations. Well done. You win. Yeah, I I changed it a bit. Yeah, yeah. No, I changed it a bit. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Um, and then I'm going to connect those two U shapes. That's okay. Keep on coming to a point. That's interesting. Yeah. That's what I love about these classes is everyone's looks a little bit different. <laughs> Maybe you have a queen. So here's some B facts for you. Um, all the honeybees you see out in the wild are females. The males do no work except for um, breed with the queen bees. That is it. And then in the winter, because they have zero jobs, they get kicked out of the hive and then they die. The yeah, their only job is to breed with the queen. That is it. Yeah. They can't even feed themselves. It's ridiculous. The bees have to, the females have to feed themselves. <laughs> so any bees, any honeybees you see out in the wild on your flowers, they're always female. And they will not sting you unless provoked because if they, if honeybees sting you, it rips out their abdomen and then they die. So they will try to avoid it as much as possible. Whereas like wasps and yellow jackets, those are a-holes and feel free to like kill as many as you want. <laughs> They're angry. Yeah, but usually around like the fall, the queen kicks them out, which is why they're so desperate for like all your sugar and stuff. So if there's like be if there's wasps around you and you just like put out an extra bowl of like juice or something, they'll usually leave you alone. Okay, cool. That's about all we need for the honeybees. I'm going to walk around and start looking at our honeybees just to make sure that they are good. Very cute, adorable. I told you, she oh, okay. amazing. You just need to erase these guys. Yeah, you got erased. Okay. Adorable, absolutely adorable. Oh, um, feel free to add the stripes in there too. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that we have to add stripes. So the stripes are just a little bit curved, okay? So um, I'm actually going to make bigger stripes for myself personally. So they're a little bit curved. And if we curve the stripes, that gives the illusion that our subject is 3D, right? Instead of just straight across, if we curve them, it makes it look like the, like the butt is round. Yes, the stripes will show through the wings. Yeah, 
I'm changing it a bit. Like, like I said, my original, I'm always, I'm just gonna like, um, I'm making new choices based off of my mistakes or what I don't like out of my old paintings. Thank you. And sometimes they fail, you know, like that bleeding hearts one, I still prefer the old one first, but this is the process of painting. Like every single, like all those who have been with me since the very beginning have done balloons at least twice, have done mushrooms at least twice. <laughs> Where did it, there's only so many subjects you can do. <laughs> and if you really like this, then not next semester, but maybe in the spring we'll do bees again. Oh, you hit me where I am least competent. For the drawing class. Yeah, for the drawing class. I am so not strong in faces. Nat is so much stronger than me. Nat should teach the faces class. Yeah, <laughs> she's so much better at faces than me. Okay, so let's, perfect. Very cute, adorable. I love it. Super adorable. I am just going to see how it goes in right here. It kind of looks a little bit broken. So I'm just going to, there you go. Perfect. And I'm just going to make this head a little bit more. Wow. Voila, that's it. Oh, they're so cute. I love them. They're so adorable. Oh, beautiful. Oh my God, they're so cute. I can't handle how adorable they are. I am going to show you a trick to doing... Um... Sorry about that. Adorable, guys. Seriously adorable. Um, have the stripes extend out into underneath because we are going to make the wings a little bit more transparent. Yes, yes. So we are keeping this line because we are going to make the wings a little bit more transparent. Correct. Yes. Yes. Guys, I'm super impressed with everybody's bees. Good job. Okay. So now let's do some honeycombs because we all have really, really good bees. Well done. I am like literally super proud of every single one of you. <laughs> okay, so the first honeycomb I am going to do, I kind of just winged it, honestly. So what I did was I had like a little cutout at home, and then I kind of just traced it. <laughs> you can if you want to. You can if you want to, but I'm also going to show you a way to make it a little bit easier. Um, so I'm going to put it one here just so that it's unblocked. You guys can see it. And the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to draw a square. Okay? I'm drawing a square, the first thing. And I'm going to try and make all... I'm going to try and make this as, as square as possible. Every single edge is going to try and be the same length. No. This is the first step. <laughs> first step. Step one. <laughs> Great question, though. Thank you. Okay, so now that I have my square, in the middle, I'm going to draw a line that cuts through the whole thing. Yes. Um, what do we have that everybody has on there? So, about like half of the metal part of my br brush. Does that make sense? Okay. And then now that I have this line that cuts straight through, I'm going to come in and just draw a hat. Like, on, oh wait, hold on. Um, okay, hold on. Sorry, I gotta figure something out. Okay, I know where I got, I went wrong. 
Okay. I know where I went wrong. Okay, so what I'm actually gonna do is create a rectangle. So then if I draw a line straight through and then come down, there we go. That looks better. So then if I erase all of my guidelines, then voila, I, can't, I have like a honeycomb shape. And you might have to like bring it up a little bit to make it a little more. You know what? These are not going to be perfect honeycombs and that's okay. They don't have to be. Okay. Yes. So that, so we started out, where's one of my guides? Okay. So we started out with a rectangle, right? Rectangle straight. And then we drew a line straight through. And then we added like a little roof onto each side. And then we erased all the in-between marks. Does that make sense? You have cuticle scissors on you? <laughs> Love it. Okay. Well, the trick is, is that they have to they have to connect to each other. So the next one that I'm actually going to do, and I'm gonna do it over here so that you guys can see. Okay, so there's a trick to this and like give your brain some time to, uh, to like adjust to it. Um, so the next one I'm gonna do is I'm actually coming off one of these sides, creating my rectangle, right? Cause they have to connect. And then I'm drawing that straight line right through. And then I'm adding my little roofs to it. And they're not going to be perfect. Mine are not perfect by any means. Oh yeah, no, beehive, bees get it perfect every single time. We are not bees. Does that make sense how we did this? So then the next one, I'm gonna go off this side, right? So I'm drawing, I'm drawing my rectangle. And I am going to walk around and I'll help you guys with this. And I'm going straight. Hate that. There we go. That's better. And if you need to erase, please use your erasers. Yes, nice. These look good. Okay, so again, step one is drawing a rectangle, right? Step two. As I'm drawing a straight line through it. Step three is putting a roof on each end. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. Oh, wait, yeah, I'm coming to everybody. So yeah, that's good. I can show you guys. I'll draw everybody what, what I'm looking for. So step one is a rectangle, right? 
correct. Step two. So then step three. My brain does not like moving in like my brain, my brain's broken. <laughs> I'm taking I'm take meds for my brain. <laughs> um, yeah, does that make sense how we got there? So one, two, three. Does that help at all? Do what makes it easier for you, please. I find mine looks stupid. Well, they're small, right? So yeah. if you want, you can make them a lot bigger if you wanted to. Yeah, if you want to. Yes, darling. Uh, B's are soft. H's. It's hard. It, so long as it has an H in it, it's going to be hard. So how do you get a B? You can buy a B yep, yep. You can go buy a B twos, fours, six, eights. And then it goes to charcoals. Okay, but I liked for for drawing these things. I like going with HB or higher H's because you get a lighter um, line. I, I understand. So feel free to try experiment. Oh God, Nat, these are incredible. Emily, sorry, I got your name wrong. Well done, Emily. This looks amazing. I'm like super impressed. Beautiful, Mona, my God. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, what's your name again? Gina. Gina. Nicely done, Gina. This looks gorgeous. No, no, you're, you're succeeding. Good job. Beautiful, nice guys. Yes, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you what I gave all everybody else. All right. So step one. Uh, rectangle. Step two. That's a two. Okay, rectangle with a line in there. Right. Step three. Mm -hmm. You can do it upside down. Practice. Okay. Um, I'm actually dyslexic, so um, it's kind of easier for me to yeah. write things upside down. Um, step three is you add roofs on each side. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, there you go. It's a little bit off. Just erase it and try again. It's, it's okay. All of them? Um, maybe keep this one. I would. But when you okay, so when you um when you bump up the one to the other, make sure you are choosing one of these flat edges and your step one has to go flat with the next surface. Does that make sense? And then you can add your step two and your step three. Does that make oh, sense? See, yeah. So it always has to bump up against a flat surface. Um, just um, draw it through your B and then just erase it. I do that all the time. Yep. A little, yours are small, yeah, but it just means you need more. That's it. Nice. Okay. Um, this one just looks a little bit weird. So what your rectangle has to be longer and see how then your triangles get to stretch out and it looks a little bit nicer and then you can just erase this guy does that make sense all each one of no you, they're good they're good um let me see 
Also, they're going right in between. Okay, so okay, so here's a trick. When you draw your next comb, the step one that I mentioned has to be flush with one of your flat edges. Does that make sense? So wherever your flat edge is, you can do one here. You can do a step one here. You can do a step one here, but it has to be the same length and come off of this one. Does that make sense? So then this comes here and then this goes here. See how that just kind of fit together? So take your time and you can just continue throughout it. If you need to move one of these underneath the B, just draw over top of the B and then you can erase it. That's the nice thing about it. Okay, so the next one that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one here. Right here. Okay, so then I'm going to erase one of these. <laughs> Keep on trying, guys. It'll click eventually, okay? I promise. Are you tracing them with your little thing? Yeah. I yeah. Don't. Yep. If you're done with your template, you can share it with other people if you want. If you guys want to share templates too, I'm totally okay with you cheating. That's okay. It just means you need more. Okay, I'm happy with that one. And just have fun with this one, guys. If you can, <laughs> if you can have fun with it, please do.
So if anybody knows what a tangle is, this is very similar to a tangle, a repetitive, uh, a repetitive um, pattern that we're doing over and over again. They can be right next to each other. Also, what you can do is you can totally fill up your page with these and then you can erase the ones that you don't want. Yeah, that's kind of what I did. I, I just kind of like filled up the whole page and then I erased the ones that I didn't want. Just to make sure that the, um, the geometry was proper, if that makes sense. Take your time, guys. There is zero rush. The last thing I want to do is rush you through this because it is, I am aware that it is a little more complicated than what we usually do. Congrats. How are we feeling, guys? Very overwhelmed. Are we understanding the shape, how to do it? Who said no? Okay, I'm coming. Oh. Emily, that's incredible. I'm very impressed. I know. <laughs> I don't care. Find it just this despicable. I can't do it like that. Okay, so okay. That doesn't further. make sense. Okay. What if I do it like this? I yeah, go across, ahead. Down, down, across, down. So long as you do the next one, bumped up to the first one. So then you're going to go across, across, there, there, and then like that. So they always have to be bumped up to each other. Does that make sense? Yeah, that so the next sense. one is going to go up, but I'm just up. destroying this. Like my page. That's okay. That's okay. Then do it your way. That makes sense to you. So see, so then you have here, and then it goes across. Okay. See, that's really good. But see how you, you just need to attach bump them up? You just need yeah, to I'm attach to it. Attach this one. Yep. So if I were to attach this one, I would go, let's see, I would go up would here the and then here. And I then see here and then now. here and then attach. Yeah. yeah right? Yeah. So and then you don't, you don't erase the line? I don't erase the line. Oh, no, I leave okay. it. So then these two attach. And then here, you're going to go out and then over and then over. Does that make sense how I did that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm new to this. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Then you're so, you, you basically got it. Yeah, yeah. You basically got it. So then like here, it would go over, over, and then you'd do like that, right? So then you, you can see already here. And feel free to erase these once I leave. <laughs> see? I could wait till I could I have to finish my own. <laughs> this is not one of my favorites. Okay, that's fair. This is such a this is
this is it whatever it is is good job i like this it looks really nice yeah i know well you feel free to go into the body and then just erase the lines right well like use the corners you like nice little corners here. All right, then. you're doing a really nice job though you made yours really small so you have a lot to do yes exactly super good yeah. i'm like super proud of you so then all you need to do is connect like um like do this and boom you have another one there and then just right here and then attach these and have another one there so how many do we need to make as many as you want see how much easier it gets now that I, you have like some filled in already mm. you can leave it like that if you want to if you like the way that that looks Feel free. You can like literally just leave it like that if you feel like it. Guys, if you don't want to like fill this up, if you just want like three here and four here, go with it, all right? It doesn't have to be perfect. How would I get this area done? So then you're just gonna go here. Basically, it. Wait. Fuck that up a bit. Um. Yeah, I think it's going to be. Okay, there it is. You're welcome. Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit right here and then I'm done because I want to move on. Also, my brain just decided it wants to no longer make sense of this, so this is where we're at. My brain gets to like a point where it's like where one thing gets a little bit out and then it like knocks the whole thing out of uh out of order. <laughs> Does that make sense to people? <coughs> <coughs> if we weren't in a class, I'd like <coughs> be walking away from it. Sorry, I just choked on a little bit. Yeah. Classy. Okay, now I'm just erasing the lines that I do not need, and then we can. No, I am not. I'm keeping the wings. Like, no, I'm going to have mine like bleed through a bit. Okay, so remember if whatever. You, you only have to have a certain amount of honeycombs because whatever areas you feel is dead, you can just like bleed some honey, some honey coming off of it. Does that make sense? If you want more honey than honeycomb, I'm gonna be my guest. <laughs> Does anybody here get super offended if when I swear? Okay. Do you, do you Zelda? Okay, cool. 
I have a sailor's mouth. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh, my daughter hears all the swear words. It's fine. I'm just, she doesn't know. Um, when we get to the age, I'm going to teach her between like grandma appropriate words and like words you can use, words you can use at home. And then also you're never allowed to say them to people, like about people. You can't use them to hurt other people. But you can use them to emphasize a situation. Does that make sense? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, teachers are going to have a fun time with my daughter. <laughs> it is practice. You know, I grew up like, I grew up with words like swear words being used to hurt other people around me. Like my parents were kind of really mean to each other. So I'm taking back that power. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm like going to use them so that like, I'm taking back the power that they have. Does that make sense? Um, to heal myself from them. You know, I, I was, Yeah, I think if you don't make words taboo, then they, like, because they were so taboo when I was a kid, I wanted to use them so much. So if they're not a big deal to begin with, I'm hoping that she won't feel the need to, like, use them super much. We'll see. Maybe it's a bad decision. I'm willing to own that. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. That is something definitely to think about. You've given me food for thought. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay. So let's start with painting. Okay. So the first thing that I'm going to do is... Um. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do, let's do a yellow wash over the entire background and then the stripes for the bees. So today we are working, excuse me, today we're working very uh, dry brush. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. Okay. So what I mean by that is instead of wetting our paper first and then putting in the water, we're just going to go in with a wet brush, a wet paint on a dry paper. Does that make sense? So um, I'm going to use my small brush and then I'm going to pick up my cadmium yellow, the poisonous yellow. Yep, picking up my yellow and making sure that it's fairly watered down. So I'm going in a few times with just a, paint full of, a paintbrush full of water and putting it in there. And now I have a fairly wet amount of paint of yellow. Yes, thank you. Um, this is the cadmium yellow again. So like the sunshine, fun, bright yellow. And then I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna start just doing a whole wash of this. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so before you touch, it is... It is very yellow, yes. Before you touch, please do some erasing if you can. Yeah, because these are really dark lines. Thank you, Terry, for reminding me. So if you have really dark lines, let's erase a little bit, okay? Thank you, Terry, for the reminder. Appreciate you.
I'm in a silly mood today, so I woke up silly. I think it's because um, tomorrow I head out to a chalet and my girlfriend just finished building a, a sauna there on the lakeside. So we can like have our own little spa trip, we'll just break up the ice and jump in and then head into the, just run into the sauna. <laughs> All right, so now that we have some washed away, if you don't want it so bright, add more water. Or add a little bit of the yellow ochre to it. Yep. How are we doing? Anybody here? Oh, um, so I'm doing like a yellow wash over the entire honeycomb. I'm sorry? Correct. What do you mean? What shape? We're going, we're going to go over um, with orange afterwards. Does that make sense? Correct. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes, so all of the honeycomb squares that we just did are going to be yellow. Does that make sense? That's my honeycombs, yes. Yep, that's my honeycombs. Um, the reason why they don't look yellow is because we're going to layer on colors over top of it, but yellow is our base color. Yes. I'm making it very pale, yes. I'm using my small brush, yes. Great questions, thank you, keep them coming. God, where's this hair coming from? Okay. Uh oh, what's going on, Matt? Oh. Is that helpful? Oh, yeah. Thank you. No problem. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. How are we doing, guys? Is that my yellow hair? I have to do it. Yep, yep. And um, I'm just filling them in. Beautiful, guys. I think it's beautiful. I like it. You're trying to be gentle and kind, but it is what it is. <laughs> sure. Are you going to get this one too? Or are you leaving well, that one? one there. <laughs> yeah, there's one here and then there's some right here uh, and there. I don't there. see too well. It's hard for me to see. I don't know I'm so sorry. Doing. Don't be sorry. It's not your fault. Well, I mean, I can be sorry for you. Like, I can sympathize. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> I try. Oh, that's a beautiful color. Make sure you're using um, more water than paint. 
Oh, I love how vibrant it is. Very nicely done. Vibrant. It's too vibrant? Yeah. Okay. Um, so then what you can do, instead of adding more, instead of adding more color, just take your water and spread the color around. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. How I'm doing it? Yeah. So I'm just going to like pick up some of this color and you can even do it with this brush. So you can like, you can like pick up all of this color and then just like transfer it right here. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then now that you have your color there, you can just kind of move it around with the small brush. Does that help? Yeah. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. It's a nice thing about watercolor paints is that uh, they're not there forever if you don't want them to be. Thank you. Actually, for those of you who do like plein air, who like go out and like paint what you see, um, I've recently learned that if you take watercolor pencils and just make squares of like, like just like scribble it on and then like bring those flat pieces of paper with you, you can like wet them and use them as like a palette. Because like, so like uh, if you have like a square and like you like put the, you scribble the watercolor pencil there if you add water to it, you can pick it up and actually use it as a palette kind of thing. I have watercolor pencils, otherwise I'd like show you guys, but it's an option. All right, coffee done. Okay, and then I am also going to pick up a little bit of that color and paint the stripes of my honeybee. Just every other stripe. Yep, I'm going on to the wings as well because I'm just going to like lift it up after. I'm having them show through the wings, yeah, because then after I'm just gonna lift them up to give it more of a transparent look. Does that make sense? Always. There seems to be, I'd leave it alone. Yeah, yeah I'd, I'd just leave it. Yeah, now fill it in. Correct. Beautiful, 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 everybody. Nice, guys. Yeah, I like these. Leah, I still really like it. But you know what? When you put in the darker yellow, it'll hide all the rest. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That's Agreed. What, that's what I'm going for. Uh -huh. Nice guys. Beautiful. Very nice. <laughs> well, registration is soon to be open for fall or winter, so. 
You are always welcome. Okay. Oh, lovely. <laughs> you just have a queen bee. That's it. Okay. Oh, uh, no way. Okay. All right. So once we're finished that, we have to mix an orange for the outlines of all of these, right? So we're going to have to mix an orange, which means we are going to combine cadmium yellow with cadmium red. So we're going to add a little bit of yellow to that just to make it a little less Uh, it's the orange red. Yes. I don't know what you consider <laughs> that. So then I'm going to pick up my cadmium yellow or red, sorry, which is um, the orange red that you guys have. The orangey red is called a cadmium red. Yep, the orangey one. And then we're going to pick up our cadmium yellow, and we're gonna mix them together until you get like a yellow, like a, like a, almost like a pumpkin color. Mine's also very bright, but if you want a darker, the mustard yellow, yeah. Yes, this is for the outline of the honeycomb. I'm sorry? The stripes, I did the same color as the background. I only did the, um, the yellow stripes. Does that make sense? Hold on, sorry, I can't hear you. I'm gonna come. What are you asking? Yes. So, so the thorax one. and then so the thorax the is yes, is and then the sh the shoulders are going to be black. So this one is yellow, and then this one's black, and then this one's yellow. That one's black. That one's yellow. Does that make sense? So there's two circles that are black, right? So there, are, there where the wings come out of is black. This is black. Which, um, and then the first one I'm doing yellow. You can choose, you can do whatever you want. Hold on, I'm just going to close this a bit. I don't know if that helps at all. So then we're gonna outline the honeycombs. We're making this little outline right here. We are outlining them, yes, with our small brush. So small brush, yep. And then we're going to outline each honeycomb. Yes, we are doing precision work right now. There you go. Hey, you know the next step to do? No. Then we're going to do the yellow, we're outlining it with orange. Um, I, mi I mixed together these three colors. So I mixed together the cadmium red with cadmium yellow and then added a little bit of yellow ochre into it. That is, yeah, the orange red.
Here we go. How are we feeling, guys? I added, I mixed together cadmium red, which is the orange red, with cadmium yellow. And then if it was too vibrant, I added a little bit of yellow ochre. Make sense? That's okay. They don't, mine are also not all equal. Embrace the imperfections. Art is one of the few places you can like make, happily make mistakes without really any real life consequences. The only thing you, if you don't like it, fine, just throw it out. <laughs> yep. There you go.
You can start um, adding black into your B if you want. Yeah. Mm, mix it with a little bit of blue. Yeah, a little bit, not much. Uh, the dark blue. Nice. Yes. Gorgeous, guys. Well, uh, let me just go around and make sure. Gorgeous, guys. Oh, love it. Beautiful. I love it. I'm in art class. I know, I'm in art class. So the next thing let's do is let's mix together a little bit of black with a little bit of blue, like black with a little bit of blue. The dark blue, yep, I'm gonna take the dark blue, I'm gonna put it right here. The light blue works too, either way. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of my black, mix them together. It doesn't really matter which blue, you can use the light blue or the dark blue, doesn't really matter. Light or dark, it doesn't really matter, just pick one. Yep, a little bit of black um, and blue, yeah, until I get like a Payne's gray color. No, not really. Um, I'm going to do first a really light coat, and then once it dries, I'm going to go in darker. Does that make sense? Yeah, so the first coat that I'm going to do is going to be very light. So see how it looks mostly gray right now? Um, every uh, Everything that's black on the bee, we're going to do with that gray color. And then after that dries, we're gonna go in. Yep, and then some of the stripes. Thank you. 
wash your brush. So wash your brush and then like scrape off any extra. Um, not like that. No, no, no. So wash your brush and then scrape it off the side. Yep. And then just dip the tip of your brush in. I am working with the small brush, FYI. Oh, okay. You know what? If it's dark, that's okay. But okay, then you can add a little bit more black to it. Black with a bit of blue. Yes, to make gray. Let me just finish coloring this in real quickly and then I'll be over there. Okay. Oh, you want this color and this color, don't you? Okay. Why why is it red? I don't know. That's okay, that's okay. Cause then if you just watch this. So if you just take it and then scrape it off. And then just do a little bit of a dab in the center. And then it becomes a nice gray. Wow. See? So you just need less on your brush. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's like a brown. We're gonna add we're gonna add more of this color to it. Okay, and then, oh, you don't have a black. That's your problem. Yeah. Oh, there's black underneath it. Okay. What's on top? What the is brown. That? This oh, is the brown. Right. Okay, that's what I yeah, you're good. You're good. Okay. The black is underneath here. There you go. Okay, just clean that. And I'm going to take this. There you go. It's dark. It is dark. Hold on. Let me get a little bit more blue in there. There you go. That's a nice color. Okay. So then when you pick that up, you're going to take your brush. You're just going to knock it out and then just dip the tip in. That's it. And then when you go down to it, see how light it is? Okay. Hey, we'll see. Does that make sense? Thank you. You're very welcome. Really like. My pleasure. Um, you can also add a little bit more color in there. Yes. Am I going from end to end? Yes. Okay. Yes. Is this blue? No, that's a perfect color. That's awesome color. Beautiful. Yes. Exactly. Perfect. Perfect. Good job, guys. This is also nice way. <gasps> comparison comparison all right so let's continue Yep. Embrace the net mess, Nat. Ah. What? I didn't go over the yellow. Yep. Wow. 
why is it gonna ruin your yellow? I'm not, I'm not touching any yellow. I, give me a second, I haven't gotten there yet. Jumping ahead a little bit, that's okay. Okay, so now we have to wait for that to dry, right? How are our honeycombs? Are our honeycombs nice and dry? Yeah? Okay. So then we can start adding shading into our honeycombs. I'll show you how to do that. I just want everybody to catch up a little bit. We're gonna add shading into our honeycombs. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, yes, you just misunderstood a little bit how it's going. I understand what, what you mean. So we're gonna lift that up, Oh. right? Yeah. Because it has to go yellow, black, yellow, black. So what that means is um, that one is black, yes, but this one's yellow. Um, Does that make sense, what I just did? Yeah. Oh, gee, no right. worries. Look at that. It just comes right yeah. off. So yellow, black. Correct. And yes. So this what you're going to do is this whole thing has to be black right, right here. Black. Yeah. Right. And then and this whole thing has to be black. That's it. And that's the other one. But then yellow. this one has to be all yellow. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Ooh. I thought I went wrong. No worries. Very nice. Very nice. You can outline the wings in black if you want to as well. Cute. Super cute. So this is going to end up looking cartoony anyway. So you're doing a really good job. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> um, I left. I left my brush somewhere. With me? <laughs> yep. So I'm going to also add a little bit of an outline to my um, wings as well. Just a very light outline. The black. There you go. Little tiny wings. Except for honeycombs. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see, I'm coming. Yes, I'm doing them over top of the honeycomb. That's correct. Good 
Good job. I love when somebody uh, just lift it and add more yellow to it. That'll be perfect. Just create a honeycomb. I'm making the dripping. I like it. What you can do too, you know, um, we haven't. Got, oh, thank you. What you can do as well to make it a little more fun, yes, if you wanted to, is you can take some of your color, right? Which one? This just the yellow. I just grabbed the yellow and okay. like just put it here. I wonder. And then add more, more water. Also, it'll drip. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I like that. I was trying to make the drip just. You just keep adding water. And then it's oh, okay. <gasps> neat. And just have fun with that. Should I do another too? Yeah, I would. I would do it all over the place if you want to. Have fun with it. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> Thank you for calling me out. Um, it's not, but if you want it thinner, what you can do is you can here can I take see this? Yeah. Can I show you? Yeah. So what you can do is you could take your clean brush and you can just lift and drag it inwards. See how that softens okay. it up? Yes but also it like brings it in more. So then if you want to lift out some of the color, you can just by doing this. Okay. And see how that just made it softer? Yeah. Does that make it look nicer to you? Yes. Okay. Yes. Do you think you can do that on your own? You figured, okay, cool. Beautiful. All right. Awesome, guys. So let's move on to adding some depth into these. Okay. So the way that I'm doing that is that I'm taking that blue that we just mixed, a very, very small amount of it. I'm just going to take some of that and then we have to decide where our light source is coming from because up here our light source is coming over here because it's casting a shadow because inside does that make sense so because our light source is coming here all our shadows are going to be right here because it's casting the light source does that make sense where are my light source is okay so that being said I'm going to go over with a little bit of that blackish blue that we created. And I'm just going to add a line of that blue inside the yellow part of my honeycomb. And then to soften it up, I'm going to take my brush, clean it, and then with just water, I'm just going to drag it in to soften up that hard line. Does that make I did that? So again, I'll do bluish black that we created, just a little bit of it. And I'm going to go in and do like do a thin line on the inside of my honeycomb, just a thin line, right? And I'm gonna clean my brush. I'm going to just wipe off, off the side of the rim, any extra. And then I'm going to drag it in with water to soften up one of the hard edges. Correct, on every single one. And that's gonna make, give it some depth. Does that make sense what I just did? Correct. Yes, it's the side. Yes, because that's going to create um, a light source. Um, if you did it on all sides, then I would go over it and make one side darker than the rest. Does that make sense, Nat? 
Yes. Yes. So we're doing a lot of precision work today. Um, we're doing we're doing precision work today. So this is we're practicing our brush techniques today. We just want to remove one of our hard edges. This also takes patience. <laughs> you okay, Terry? Okay. There. And we only have 20 minutes left. So unfortunately, I don't, I know we're not going to get super, like, I don't know if we'll be able to finish this or not, which makes me very sad. But I also don't have anywhere to be after this. So if you guys want to stay longer, feel free. Unless you have somewhere to go to, which case, fine. We're going to kind of fill in the wings, yeah. Yes. Yeah, if they are colored in, then yes, you are going to do the ones under the wings as well. Does anybody have any like subject matters besides faces they'd like to do? Bodies? <laughs> if you want to do um, naked drawing, uh, like nudes, you can check out a lot of the, um, a lot of the universities like UCAM and Concordia and stuff, they do have life drawing models. Okay. <laughs> hey. 
Huh. They're just shapes. <laughs> Literally, yeah. You see one and you see them all. I mean, the body is inherently not sexual, unsexual. It's just our perception of it that makes the... It... I've done um I've done quite a bit of life drawing the, through school um so I'm just like I'm so desensitized to it. <laughs> naked people are naked people. Uh we could do something like that. Yeah. It would be more of impressionist though, like more of a Van Gogh kind of style. Yeah, a child holding an umbrella that would be cute. Yeah. Okay, I'll look through that. I'll make a note. Yes. What can I do for you, Iris? Oh, okay. <laughs> yep, that's my life now. I have a giant portfolio that I cut, I made out of cardboard just to like transport everything. Actually, I have a, um, I don't know where I bought it. Here's your wooden canvas your, and it hooks underneath. Oh, that's nice. Handle. Yeah, that's very nice. You know what I'm talking about? I do. Yeah. That I have. <laughs> nice. Treasure trove. You know how many years I'm going back? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I'm on my way. Ah. Woo. Ooh, nice. The eyes. The eyes? It is. No, that's okay. That's okay. You just need to take it and be very, very, very patient with lifting it up. Mm. So patient with lifting it up. There you go. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna let you do the second one. I mean, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna let you do the second one. Yep. So then let's go in and do another layer on here. Make it more black. Um, make. Okay, so I'll do it with you actually. So I'm gonna do a second layer of black right here um so i'm gonna do inside um yeah you can absolutely you can just use straight black if you want And then I'm going to kind of just make some cute little eyes. They also don't need eyes. The eyes just make them like super cute. You can, yeah, also lift if you've already gone in too dark.
And then I'm also going in between the wings, going to make it a little darker. I just kind of did like a circle around for the eyes. Just the same black. I just made sure that not to do the circle. But if you if you went in pure black, just lift out little circles. Yep, if you have acrylic white paint at home, you can also just to put two dots. Actually, I have um, a white acrylic pen if you want it. I can give it to you. Would you like it? Yeah. Yes. They're too dark? Okay, then you're going to like lift it up. Hold on. And you're going to like just kind of go over the whole thing until oh. you lift it up. Yep. Okay. And then so just keep on lifting it. Oh, that's right. Here. Let me let me just add one last thing. I just want to do this real quick. Okay, so now we have something super fun that we can do. When you are finished, because we only have about 10 minutes left. So to get these super fun runs, right? To get the super fun runs, what we are going to do is we are going to pick up, we're going to wet our brush a lot, pick up quite a bit of that yellow. And then we can like just add it in here. I'm, I use the bright yellow. And then it's it's hard to see, but what, what you can do is you can keep on adding yellow or keep on adding water, I'm sorry, until it starts running. You can tap and see how it's starting to run a little bit. So, yep. So yes, so add a little bit and then just like bang it. You might need more. And you can make it run through. Yep, so if you wanna do the dripping, that's an option too. So I'm gonna put some right here. And then I'm just going to add a huge pile of water and then just allow it to drip. You okay, Leah? Sorry to hear that. Yeah, mine went into the B2.
Yeah, you can fill them in if you want to, but I'm just going to leave mine alone. Yes, there's a white pen going around. Just some, um, I'm no, I'm just doing the reflection of the honeycomb underneath it. Because some of them I didn't add the reflection of the honeycomb. If you want to, you can add like little legs too coming out with black. Yeah, you can add little tiny legs if you wanted to. Like I added little tiny things. Nothing. I'm leaving them like that. I mean, they, they're not completely white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what you can do if you want to, if they're dry, you can kind of like add some like really thin um, like lines through them to kind of like, yeah like create some of the like webbing that is in wings. Yeah, it has to be dry. Just with like the super thinnest black, yes, yes. If you guys don't want, if you guys aren't comfortable with your brush pressure, I also have black really thin markers if you wanna use one, yeah. If you if you'd prefer to use these, no problem. 
Did you have a question or? No. This is cute. Cute, cute. Oh, just pull. There you go. Yeah, if you want, you guys, I can lend, I can give you guys my really thin markers and you guys, yeah, I always do. Would you like one? Yes, yes, you're good. Okay. Wherever you want with a light, a white spot. So I did it like around here and then I did it here kind of thing. And on the other side too, a little bit. Yep, just drop some paint. Yep. And then just add some water and then it can either run and you can like always convince it a bit. You can always like convince it a bit to like run. And then you can just pick up the green. Does that make sense? Yeah, I like you can bring it in here. There you go. What do you think? You like it? Perfect. I mean, if that's the w effect you want, then go for it. Oh, it's so cute. I can't handle how cute this is. Guys, you guys are, you guys, they're both really good. Yeah, Manuka honey, there you go. They're so cute, guys. Oh, it's adorable. These turned out so cute. I love them. I know every single person here is like really nice. Does anybody want a super thin black marker? Oh, you already have one. Okay. What do we think, guys? Did we like this lesson? So, so. A little stressful? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, it's a little more stressful. Fair, fair. That's cute. Yeah, but like, even though everyone's, like, even though some of it was stressful, everyone's turned out really adorable. Like, this is like, this is like stuff you could put in a children's book. It's very cute. Yes. Yep. Anywhere? Yeah. Uh, you do you want to take a picture of it on your phone and then you can uh, look for it they're my favorite pens um you can get them like at staples um they're not at the dollarama but you can get them like at staples or anywhere they're they're my absolutely favorite pens they're like a mix between a fountain pen and a ballpoint pen okay and make sure before we leave, our palettes are nice and super clean, okay? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I like yours too. Okay, so next week's will be chill. <laughs> I'll make sure that, I'll make sure to do one that's like less stressful. Absolutely not. No, it's still the same time. Next semester. Nope, still the same time. Not until January or February. Correct. Is that your spouse or your son? Yeah. Spouse? I also like that one a lot. It's cute. Honeybees. Honeybees. <laughs> cute.